As I mentioned, scleroderma patients, about 10 to 15% of those patients will develop pulmonary arterial hypertension. And because your risk is higher in scleroderma than other diseases such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, guideline and consensus recommendations suggest that patients with scleroderma undergo yearly screening for pulmonary hypertension. This screening includes an echocardiogram, pulmonary function tests, and blood work to see whether or not pulmonary hypertension is evolving or has developed over time. Blood tests can also be used to screen for pulmonary hypertension in patients at risk with connective tissue disease. Serum ProBNP, which is a compound that's released by the heart when it's under stress, tends to be elevated in patients with pulmonary hypertension and would add some evidence for potential development of pulmonary hypertension in the appropriate patient. In other connective tissue diseases, such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, polymyositis, dermatomyositis, or Sjogren's, routine screening with pulmonary function tests or echocardiogram or other uh, modalities is not routinely recommended. So if you have these underlying diseases, you may not need to undergo screening for the development of pulmonary hypertension. But if you have scleroderma, it's strongly encouraged that you do. Music